You've got some notes on peptides to use for, actually, first, before we talk about peptides to use for health and immunity during, during this pandemic situation, can you explain what peptides are exactly? Yeah, so peptides are essentially fractionated proteins. Uh, they're synthesized in a lab, but I mean, they're naturally, they're organic, they're naturally occurring, but a fractionated protein to uh, utilize to, you know, essentially create a regenerative effect of biological systems. So what I mean by that is, is you would use a peptide to enhance your natural uh, organic biological processes, right? So there's a peptide out there that we can talk about that enhances immunity, right? What does that mean? I mean, well, again, it will strengthen the things that your body naturally does to be resistant, you know, again, to various microbes, pathogens, germs, whatever is, you know, found in your environment. And um, they're not, I mean, they're not generally accepted. This is like still kind of fringe yeah. sort of medical uh, treatment. It's mostly self-treatment, you know, if anything. I first came across it. Um, I was in a men's group, um, you know, with a mutual friend. You know Ben Greenfield. I yeah, know you've course. talked to him quite a few times and you've worked with him too. Um, I, I actually listened to the podcast that you did with him. That was, that was a really good one. Um, and I was having some knee problems and I, you know, reached out to him like, hey, man, you know, what do you recommend? And he sent me this link to this uh, thing that was called a peptide. This is early on called BPC-157. I know you know what that is, but sure. um, it's, it's, it's great for your joints. And it's basically a water-based peptide that you inject into your knee joint area or any joint that you're, you know, suffering uh, pain or discomfort with. And it helps to regenerate uh, connective tissue and lubricate the joint and makes it function properly. And I stayed away from it because it looks... I mean, it just looks scary as hell, you know, putting like, you know, little needles in your joints and mm -hmm. all that. And when we got together in uh, California a few years ago when I was in L.A., um, you know, you're like, oh, dude, it's easy. Just grab the skin right in here. Boom. And I was like, OK, I'm not going to be a pussy. I'm not going to do it. And it worked. And I was like, OK, that was like two, three years ago. And I was sold. Right. And since then, you know, I've, I've used stuff like BPC-157 for joint injuries. I've used TB-500. Um, I've used Epitalin, you know, like once a year to... Sure. Um, I mean, how would you define, does it extend, strengthen or extend lengthen? The length, yeah, extend extends the length, the length of the telomeres. telomeres. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which, yeah. which is supposed to lower your biological age. Um, exactly. And there's scientific evidence that confirms it too. So so scientifically, yeah, it, it, it does work. And all these things are fairly effective. You can't um, trademark them from what I understand, which is probably why Big Pharma is not fond of them and they try to get you on their pharma products instead. Um and they're quite safe because they're uh, chains of proteins, from what I understand, right? Exactly. So exactly. Um, talk about peptides for use with health and immunity and what okay. people should look at and why they should look at it. Yeah, so um, so first off, uh, I, I have to say, like everybody has initially a injection phobia, right? It's just a natural thing of like, oh my God, I'm sticking my skin, you know, with a needle whether depending on, regardless of the size, I mean, everyone who's ever injected themselves has that first experience of like, dude, I'm not injecting myself, right? Like no matter how tough of a dude you are, you're like, yeah. ah, but uh, so it's funny that you say that, but I mean, I can remember back when I was like in my early thirties, when I first started my th therapeutic testosterone and I sat there for four hours, like staring at the needle, like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this until my original first wife just came up. She said, sure you can't. <laughs> Chanted in me. Did they um, did they give you like a one and a half inch harpoon? You know, for the first time. No, thankfully, because that's what I got. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. And there, there you go. They're sick care. They don't even understand that. But I, I was actually again at the very beginning for people who follow me and know me. You know, I was working with a, a Harvard educated endocrinologist. You know, Dr. Raymond Scruggs. But anyway, that's another story for another day. So regarding peptides, um, yes, they are amazing. Um, you know, Nick Andrews, my business partner with Asir, um, is one of the world's leading peptide experts. I mean, he is an absolute genius. You know, you talk to him about peptides, you, you know, he's up there in the top two or three guys in the world. And so I get a lot of my information from him. But also I have been using, as you know, Richard, therapeutic peptides before most people even knew what they were, you know, before Ben probably knew what they were, right? I've been using Ipamorelin since 2006, when they were literally like these crazy research chemicals that people didn't know what they were. But back to your point, um, we're in a world today where we are under siege from every angle, right? We know that our hormones and our endocrine systems are affected, but also so is our health now, you know, from whatever is being engineered, whether it's a bioweapon, whether it's a natural virus, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Whatever your feeling is, you need to immunize yourself. And there are peptides that you can use that dramatically enhance immunity. Now, um, sh quick shelf, self shameless plug in about a month, 
and Richard will be involved in this, um, Nick and I are launching a peptides course and it will be the best peptides course on earth. Most people who want to use peptides who watch shows like you and I are doing and they get all excited because, you know, we talk about what they do and you're right, dude, BPC and TB 500 literally heal severe injuries in like one tenth of the time. Yeah. They're, yeah. I mean, they're, they're basically golden age technology. And in, in I keep reality, it in my fridge now, like all the time, because if I get injured, it's like, I don't have to wait to order it. It's there. I just reconstitute it with the bacteriostatic water. Boom. The injections in me within 10 minutes. Or, dude, I, I literally minutes. have uh, a <laughs> break, breaking protocol. I have a, gro uh, not a grocery. I have a refrigerator right over here in the corner of my uh, studio. Let me guess a little bar and, fridge, like a small yeah, one. Keep I mean, it, your... No, it's a big one. It's not oh, okay. like, you know, a giant double door, but it's close. And my dog is like literally guarding it. My pit is like right there. All he's, <laughs> I wish I could take a picture of him right now because he's all curled up and stuff. But I have PPC 157, TB 500, and the one I'm going to talk about here in a second, TA1, which is Thymus and Alpha 1, you know, in a giant, no, I wouldn't call it a jug, but a big enough, you know, reusable deal so that if and when somebody I know gets hurt, you know, I can, I can attend to them. But, you know, back to this stuff, most people listen to you and me and people like us, Ben Greenfield and really smart people who talk about this and then they go to buy it. You know, you know, we each rep these different people out here online that sell peptides and then they are like, oh shit, you know, the vials of camp come, they're not, they're not constituted. They don't explain about bacterial static water. They don't talk about reconstitution. They don't talk about this, that, and the other. And so everybody just is like flummoxed. They're like, what do I do? Too much. Yeah. Yeah. It's too much. So Nick and I have created this course, which literally is going to be the layman's guide on how to use peptides. It starts like, okay, you don't know anything and that's why you're here. And here's where you do. Right. So that's going to really help a lot of people. And you and I will be involved in that, you know, talking about that coming, but to add or to discuss what we're talking about immunity. So thymus and alpha one, TA one is a profound peptide that will enhance your body's, you know, essentially immunity against exterior or excuse me, external, you know, agents, viruses, bugs, pathogens, even stuff in your stomach, right? You and I talk about metformin. We talk about guys, you know, having weight issues. I mean, Richard, and you know, you know, Dr. J, who's really big on this uh, and you know, his latest research in the last year, he's, I just talked to him recently actually um, is that people have pesticides in their fat and they cannot drop the weight, bro. Like cardio and growth hormone peptides or growth hormone itself and fasting and all that can't help them because they does, literally does, uh, have these agents in the fat. Does Dr. Anthony J have some new material? Cause um, last time I had him on was a couple of years ago oh, uh, dude, you after Esther generation. On. Yeah, you got to get him back. It on. was a great conversation. Like, I still get emails from guys today, like thanking me for for having him on and recommending the book. Like, if you guys don't know who Dr. Anthony J is, search my channel. Uh, there's at least an hour, hour and a half uh, conversation I had with him, and he breaks and he breaks down all the sources of environmental estrogens that are um, bombarding your body and throwing off your opportunity to function in a in a in a properly you yeah. know like modern way you know today because you're getting hit by everything from every angle you know it comes in food it comes you know in emf it comes in uh the water you drink it comes in right. toiletries that you're putting on your skin and on your body and in your body and your mouth when you're brushing your teeth uh, sunscreens everything sorry to sorry to interrupt but carry no on. no no i'm glad you said that because dr j is one of the smartest people on the earth he's a close personal friend of you and me i love J dr j by the way every time i talk to him he's like dude richard cooper man he really helped me. Yeah, I know. I got yeah, a dude. I got an email from him like six or seven months ago. He's like, "Dude, you're the real dude, man." <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, Anytime you got some new stuff, man, let's you know, let's hook up. And no, you again. definitely need to reach out to him and bring him back on. Okay. But in our conversation, just to segue, he's like, "Look, man, he's like people that live in the Midwest, where the fertilization stuff is in the environment. You know, atrazine, glyphosate, all that shit. I mean, like they have to take massive precautions." to remain lean. So again, you know, we, we talk in the United States of the flyover country and how obesity is so rampant, but now I actually have even more compassion for a lot of those people because dude, they're being deluged by this crap that's in the environment. And again, when it gets in your cells, it's really, really difficult to get rid of, but thymus and alpha one back to the peptide conversation. If you use micro doses of it now, you will be immune. Now, when I say you will be immune, I also obviously I'm talking about from a holistic standpoint that you are doing the things that Richard and I recommend, you know, you're living an insulin controlled lifestyle. 
you're hopefully optimizing your hormones. You're clearly exercising, you're lifting weights and you're doing cardiovascular exercise. But if you do all of those things and you use a micro dose of thymus and alpha year round, I mean, <laughs> the chances of you getting quote unquote, the C or whatever other shit they unleash on us is very slim. What does it do exactly? What does thymus and alpha do? Cause I haven't used that one yet. So, I mean, it, you know, it does a lot of things, right? But, you know, it, well, when anything that enhances immunity, you know, enhances your body's like cells to remain resistant without getting into deeply esoteric conversation to remain resistant to anything that can invade you, right? Now, thymus and also uh, alpha will dramatically upregulate the acromancia in the, in, the, in the microbiome, in the gut, right? So again, remember, almost all disease that people get starts in the, in the gut, in the small intestine, uh, in the microbiome from infections due to too much alcohol, too much sugar, which obviously all of that over time leads to body fat deposition. And then body fat deposition creates cellular degradation and ultimately inflammation. As you know, inflammation is what causes disease. Mm -hmm. So any disease that anyone gets, whether it's type two diabetes, heart disease, any of these things all are coming from the cellular degradation, which is leading to inflammation. So thymus and alpha is going to be another protectant that's going to upregulate your microbiome. And it's going to like create like a cellular force field um, against pathogens and invading microbes and stuff like that. Got it. And where do people get it if they want to get their hands on it? And how would they use it? Like, is there information provided when you buy it off the website, like how to reconstitute it, what the dosage is, the frequency, or is it still under the guise of... Um, you know, for research purposes only. <laughs> <laughs> so I always laugh because this is why Nick and I created this course, it's right? Hilarious, like right? answering thousands of emails, you know, attempting to help guys. So, I mean, again, I'll be the Jay Campbell who's authentic and transparent. You can buy Thymus and Alpha One at numerous research chemical company manufacturers. You know, I'm sure you still do, you know, Ben Greenfield, I do, you know, we all will push or affiliate for various guys and, and people out there. And if you're familiar with my brand and go to my website, you'll see a box out of the people that I promote. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, those people, meaning research chemical companies cannot legally tell you a how to use them. And B, you know, you have to indemnify yourself that you're using this for research purposes with your laboratory animal, whomever, right? So I'm just going to put this in the chat, get... the spelling. I just want to make sure I got this right. It's T-H-Y-M-O-S-I-N. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Thymus right. and so alpha one. It's known as spelling in the chat if you guys want TA-1. So if you guys want to do your own research or look it up, again, you know, this is like a research peptide, right? Absolutely. And But I will say, just to add to what you were saying, is that, you know, some of these, because you, you mentioned something that's important. There are, and again, I could be wrong now, but at last count, there was like six therapeutic peptides that are FDA approved, right? And, mm -hmm. and again, when that, when that means they're FDA approved, that means a physician can write them, quote unquote, uh, on label for various reasons that they're approved. And um, there are also many peptides that compound pharmacies, especially in North America, will sell to physicians that physicians can, can write a script for that are essentially you know, not indicated or, you know, not specifically for a diagnosis. Again, a doctor, a legal, a, a doctor has a legal right to write that prescription for you. So it's still though, as you said, a very gray area, lar the largest compounding pharmacy selling uh, peptides. And again, you know, I know the owner of this company very well. I won't mention their names and stuff, but they did a lot of good for a lot of people in humanity for about four or five years. And then the FDA just said, oh no, you're not going to do this. You know, you're selling too many of these and you're doing this like in a way that we don't find in a way that is right. And, you know, again, I won't get into the politics of it, but at the end of the day, peptides are the future of medicine. And there's even, as you know, Richard, and we're not going to talk about it, we'll talk on another show about it, but there are even things called bioregulators that the Russians have patents on that are even as good, if not better than peptides. I mean, like there, are, there's a bioregulator out there right now that can regenerate heart tissue. So, I mean, there's amazing, like I said, golden age stuff. But for now, if you want to be a guy who follows Jay Campbell or Richard Cooper, you know, your pep peptides are your best option to get stuff that can dramatically improve your physique and obviously augment all sorts of other things. All right, let's 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 um, let's start moving on to the hair and skin stuff. But before we do, I got a super chat here from Justin. He's asking about, are there any cons to TI1? Um, so that's a good question, Justin or Jesse. I'm sorry. Um, the reality of all peptides is like anything. And Richard and I have said this many times on our podcast is that the difference between a pill 
and a poison is the dosage. Okay. So anything that you would use, you know, from even aspirin, you know, that you buy at a pharmacy uh, versus a peptide is going to be relative to how much you use. I mean, you know, so is there a risk if you like, you know, overdose on thymus and alpha one, unlikely that there's anything that's going to do something to you. But I always say that with the caveat that like, you know, intelligent use determines whether or not you're ever going to have any side effects. But uh, thymus and alpha one is heavily studied in mega dosages and there are very, very few if known side effects. Mm, okay. 